You know, Guangzhou ancient town is famous for Wutong Zhongying and Yunzi. But there is one more intangible cultural heritage that most of the people doesn't know. It's the inner painting of Bottom. Let's take you there. Come on. The bottles are viewed from the outside, so they're painted back to front on the inside. Craftsmen put a special brush into a small crystal bottle to make their painting. It's micro-controlled art. The brush looks thin but is very strong. It can be bent to sketch all kinds of lines inside the bottle. The bottle we use is not transparent. I couldn't even find where the brush was at the start. Ah, I see. I see the brush. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, he slowly found it. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh my God, it's so hard. <laughs> I also tried to paint inside the bottle, but but it's kind of hard. You know, my hands need to be stable. If I do anything wrong, a little bit wrong, the whole process is ruined. Then I'll give it a hot water. Tiger. Okay. Yes. The tiger hair I drew seems a little thicker and uneven, but look at his face. He definitely sees himself as the best looking creature here. I also saw uh, many animals like the panda is uh, very beautifully painted because it's the national animal of China, national treasure of China. And the green peacock, which is, can be mainly found in the Yunnan province. And I, I also saw the tiger. It's very much similar to the national animal of my country, Bangladesh, Royal Bengal Tiger. Ms. Sun told me that the inner painting of Yunnan school presents the integration of many of Yunnan's ethnic cultures. Having visited all the prefectures in Yunnan, she developed eco-friendly pigments with locally sourced plants, like roses, to show off the different ethnic cultures in rich colorings. Her work vividly depicts the diversity of Yunnan. I also saw painting of many ethnic groups inside the bottle, like Nashi, Pai, Yi groups. They are dancing, their daily lifestyles, and they are wearing the traditional clothes or are beautifully painted inside these bottles. You know, uh, from this painting, I can understand that uh, all the ethnic groups in Yunnan, they embrace each other as if they were the seeds of pomegranate. They live together, uh, their cultures blend together. And I like this kind of Yunnan.